Clip is a pretty popular software to use for digital art, but is it in a beginner's best interest to learn about it? Let's find out. The software's overview. Before we delve into whether the software is good for a beginner or not, let's give a brief overview of it to make sure we have the base covered. Clip Studio Paint is a drawing software developed by Celsius, a Japanese software development company. Clip supports both bitmap and vector and is available on Mac OS, Windows, iPad OS, iOS, Android, and Chrome OS. With that out of the way, let's explore different aspects of the software that can affect a beginner's experience with the software positively or negatively. The price. Price can play a huge role on whether you, as a beginner, can or should get a software, especially today with the rise of all kinds of drawing software that come in different price points and even for free. You have range, which completely squashes any limitations. When it comes to clips, prices, it is dependent on which version of the software you get. Clip Studio Paint has two versions and neither are cheap. First things first, the Clip Studio Paint Pro version. It costs $49.99 US dollars for a one-time purchase and $449 US dollars for a monthly subscription for a single device. This version's tools and features are limited to illustration, whether for concept art, character art, or otherwise. The other version is Clip Studio Paint X. It costs $219 US dollars for a one-time purchase and $899 US dollars for a monthly subscription for a single device. This version expands on the Pro version with features that support manga, comics, webtoons, and animation creation. Meaning, you will get all the Pro version features and plus plenty of other features. As you can see, Clip is not kind on the wallet. It can really deter a beginner to get, especially with the surge of free and open source powerful software like Krita, or affordable ones like Procreate. Although it is worth mentioning that the software is incredibly diverse in terms of what it can be used for, so if you're looking to dip your toes in many things at once, Clip might be worth getting into. It is also worth mentioning that the software will be subscription-based starting 2023 that might deter many people from getting into it, as the price might be too much of a hassle not worth the trouble in the long run, especially since the software rose to popularity after Adobe went into subscription and Clip remained in the perpetual realm. That said, the price for this new model has yet to be announced, but the developer assured that it would be cheaper than the current subscription packages. Now let's explore these different uses of software and how that might affect you as a beginner. The uses. Clip can be used to do a number of things. You can use it in painting and concept art, character art and drawing, graphic design, illustration, comics of all kinds, and animation. This is a double-edged sword or a pro and a con depending on what you want. If you are a complete beginner to digital art, attempting to learn a software with such an abundance of tools and features could be extremely overwhelming and frustrating, potentially leading you to giving up altogether. However, if you are only a beginner to the software itself and have prior experience with other digital art software, it might be less overwhelming and more beneficial as you would find it a lot easier to learn and navigate. And you also get the advantage of having all you need in a single software, limiting the space several software would take, as well as their cost and the need to go through learning each one of them separately and getting used to their workflow. So the best thing to do is to really consider what you need and go from there. We have an entire video that goes into every single thing the software can be used for in detail, exploring the different tools and features. So if you want to know exactly what you're getting into with Clip, make sure to check that video out. Out. Now let's move on to the learning curve of the software. Since Clip Studio Paint can be used for a number of things, it is extremely a tool and feature rich and most importantly for this section, heavy software. This translates into it having a crowded and overwhelming interface. Naturally, this can be extremely difficult for a complete beginner to get used to. 
However, and most fortunately, Clip has a big community of artists using it. This has resulted in the creation of a great number of YouTube videos that can walk you through the software, help you customize your workspace to make it simple, show you how to use the different tools, and so forth. This will help you as a beginner feel a lot less intimidated by the software. Add to that the community over at Reddit with 49.8 thousand members where you can ask questions or share your art and lastly you also have the manual of the software for you to check out if all else fails so while the software is indeed coupled with an extremely steep learning curve, the availability of the resources balances it to a certain degree. That said, it is worth mentioning that the recent move from perpetual licensing to a subscription model has caused a lot of users to voice their displeasure and concern. This might affect the community negatively, causing it to dwindle and at worst die out. But of course, things remain to be seen. After all, Adobe survived it, people still use it and it's still popular. But is Clip Studio Paint as strong as Adobe to also survive it? There is much to consider that has yet to come out. But all in all, this is all speculative, so keep that in mind. Clip in the industry Clip is not the industry standard. Adobe and its wide variety of products is. It has risen in popularity that rivals Adobe due to the software's one-time purchase plan instead of a subscription model. However, as previously mentioned, this will soon change by 2023. Just because Clip is in the industry standard does not take away from the great variety of its tools and features and overall multi-functionality. But going into a subscription-based model and not being the industry standard can really deter beginners from learning it, while there is a potentially better option in Adobe's products. If the whole question of industry standards and price is something you're concerned with, do keep this in mind before committing to Clip. So, should you commit to Clip as a beginner? As you can see, it is quite hard to say whether Clip is good for a beginner to commit to. After all, there are several factors and pros and cons that differ depending on what you want out of the software. If you are a complete beginner who wants to dip their toes in digital art for fun and as a hobby, we highly recommend you check other software such as Procreate. If you are a beginner but are aiming to learn all about digital art and getting into the industry, Clip is not for you either. Adobe products should serve you a lot better. A situation where Clip Studio Paint would be great for you is if you are an intermediate to professional freelancer who does a variety of things and likes to have a good set of tools and features at hand. It also can be great for independent professional comic, manga, and webtoon artists who need something reliable. While the software may not be the industry standard in America, it is to a certain degree in Japan. So if that is where you are based, considering Clip might not be a bad idea idea. If these situations sound like your situation, committing to learning Clip can be a good decision to go with. All in all, we cannot decide what is best for your specific situation. Only you can do that. So we recommend you take all the factors we presented and go from there. And that was that for our video. We would love to know what you thought about it. Do you think Clip is a good fit for every beginner? Or a select few with specific goals and needs? Let us know in the comments section below. With that said, thank you for watching and we hope to see you in our next video.